fucking to bow out? No, not only that, I have updated information, all right? So apparently, uh, let me just find it right here. Um, one of the things that's happening is you have reporting now that Biden is starting to go from asking if he can win to asking if Kamala can win. Ooh. Okay, and so I have been for a while saying that the events of from the debate to the failed assassination attempt are accelerating the likelihood that Biden is going to be pushed out of this race. And every 10 minutes, when you look up here, you see this. Van Jones on CNN just said something like, a bullet didn't stop Donald Trump, but COVID just stopped Joe Biden. <laughs> right, and I'm, that's not coming from us. Oh, we shouldn't That's laugh. coming from within it's a very their serious own party. Affliction. And so th it's like the, the polar opposites of unity versus disunity, and they're four weeks away from their convention. Mark Thiessen, uh, you've seen these things before. Or do you think that they're going to give Biden real polling? Hey, Joe, uh, this is a Kamala Harris landslide. Uh, I'll see you next year. Yeah. They're, they're trying to get rid of him, but the problem is, is that's not going to solve their problem. Because if Joe Biden isn't on the ticket, Americans are still paying $125 for a $100 basket of groceries. Every time they go to gas up their tank, it's 20 to $30 more than when Joe Biden came into office. The problem isn't the person, it's the policies. And the Democrats can't just walk away from that. If you think you can, just ask the Tories in Great Britain. They got rid of Boris Johnson. They got rid of... Uh, Liz Cross, they ran with Rishi Sunak, and he's not the prime minister. And then they because, lost everything. They lost everything because it, people are not going to forget what happened over the last four years and just have, it's not, okay, do over. <laughs> you know? This is a great distraction. Biden's age, his debate debacle. They're trying to say this has nothing to do with inflation, open borders, right. and crime. This is just Biden's a little old. We just need to slap a new, fresh face on this. And he's mad that he's not getting credit for the accomplishments that he feels he deserves. The other thing is that I, I just tweeted this. The Democrats are running a lemon law election. They know that they are selling you a bad product if you're a Democratic voter, but they're still going to ask for your money, and they're going to ask for your volunteer hours, and they're going to ask you to go out there and vote for a product they know will not make it off the lot, certainly not for four years, maybe not even for the next four months. And so now you have the grassroots joining up with some of the congressmen saying, we don't think we don't think we want to do this. In fact, the new, there's a portion of the North Carolina Democratic delegation organizing right now to revolt at the convention in North Carolina. That was one of their battleground states. An insurrection. Yes, possibly. you can call it that. Mark Thiessen, and to Dana's point, we're hearing now he was out 